Ah, uh, sweet. It's Monday morning. Time for Tumblr. Writing prompt. Now you were the only reason Bruce Wayne is financially stable enough to afford his bat gadgets is that he's been selling Batman merchandise. Somehow nobody has caught on to his secret identity. You know, when you think about it, this is just... This is just real life. The reason the Batman stories are still going is because people are buying the Batman merchandise. You get it? What do you call two witches sharing an apartment? Broommates. Lesbians. And they were broommates. Oh my god, they were broommates. U.S. President Laughing Skull, when pressed for comment, responded predictably. Uh, Mr. President, what are you going to do about the sudden rise in inflation? I will do whatever is necessary to make it right. Okay. Anyone else feel the dread? Clap if you feel the dread. I just taught my dad what the word cishet was, and he just walked down the stairs and said, Cishet, come down. Well, at least he's positive about it. Putting a popular playlist song on your playlist is so humiliating. It's like, no, I promise this song applies to this character in a more deep and meaningful way than those other characters. God! My favorite thing in an art tutorial video is when the amazing artist has a list of detailed steps right up until the last one pretty much boils down to, I don't know, just mess up with the colors until it looks right. And I gotta say, I am here for this. Listen. Listen, everyone knows there's two type of digital artists. One who actually will traditionally paint the artwork with the brush and the layers and everything. And then there's artists like me. He who paint bucket go burr! All debates about the artistic merits of fan fiction fail to recognize the purpose of fan fiction. You don't write fan fiction to be published or to learn how to construct a narrative, although you can use it to develop style. You write it so that your friends will message you, Bestie, you're utterly deranged for this one and I'm eating dirt. You know those people who are like, fanfic can be good to get started, but it's bad because you never learn how to write your own from scratch. Like, imagine walking up to someone planting flowers and being like, that's a start, but ultimately it won't teach you how to like, genetically engineer your ideal fruit tree. Like, you've extrapolated a goal that was never even implied here. Love it when you put butter into a pan that's still warming and then the butter starts. And the butter starts sliding down around like, where are you going, girl? Man. Life's so smooth with you. All right, fine, I do look like a hairless cat, I admit it. Proof? You're so forward. It starts twirling my hair. How, how are you doing that? Pro tip, if you start saying, Hello! As a joke, it'll eventually come to be your standard greeting for all loved ones. Or, in a more generalized form, Beware what thou do ironically, lest thou begin to do it ironically. Started out as a bit. How did it end up like this? It was only a bit. It was only a bit. <clears throat> Hasman Hotel is family guy for Tumblr users who used to ship Dipper Pines with a humanized white twink version of Bill Cipher. Sentences to explain to a 14th century monk. Hasman Hotel is the Canterbury Tales for jesters and vagabonds who wrote romantic sonnets as though penned by Lucifer, Prince of Lies, towards St. Augustine of Hippo, but like when he was still a kid. Hey, I want you to know that I finally know what it's like for other people to read my original post. This terrifies me to the very marrow of my bones. Good job. By the way, if you're a Hasbro Hotel fan and you got upset at that, you're legally obligated to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules. Wow, I can't believe they named a band after Corn. Yo. Which band? The Foo Fighters. I like the Chucky show because it doesn't try to appeal to a mass audience. Oh, you don't know the lore of the direct-to-DVD movies? Pfft, get fucked. I hope you guys are all aware that this means Chucky follows the same plot mechanics as Kingdom Hearts. ADHD culture is writing fast, but having your mind go even faster, so you accidentally a few words. Yeah. I love you, obvious symbolism. I love you, blatant foreshadowing. I love you, gratuitous parallels. I love you, dramatic lighting. I love you, cheesy music. I love you, media that doesn't take itself too seriously. Mwah! Hey, thanks, Tumblr, for telling me I like my own posts. Very vital information there. Oh, hell yeah, my posts are getting attention! You absolute fucking moron. You utter fucking buffoon, no lesser man would entertain the watered-down garbage posts you call your own. You have nothing! Nobody! You call out into the vast abyss of space and rejoice in your own echo! I would kill you where you stand if it didn't mean wasting the energy. Splunkus, why were you liking your own posts? I like having online friends. Hello, university students from Europe. Hello, children show enthusiasts from the United States. Hello, baby gays from Oceania. 
You guys want to talk about soup? Hell yeah, I do. Just gotta say. Them titties, though, goddamn. Oh, where? Look down, queen. Whoa! How'd these get there? It's occurred to me that bingo night or bridge night at the senior center will probably be D&D night when we get there. And now I'm ready to retire. Yes! Do you guys think it's possible for a fungus and an algae to unpurposed kiss? Maybe they will take a liking to each other. <laughs> Tasks that take 15 minutes but three hours if you include the agonies. <laughs> this close to walking into a mysterious fog and never coming back. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Bye, guys. Just kidding. I'll probably see you on Wednesday.